So Nikocado Avocado, enough <laughs> enough now. Time to turn your life around. Oh my god. I don't know why I'm gonna put myself hey guys, I, a lot I don't know why I'm gonna put myself through this torture. Um I, f I live a life of desperation because I can't feel your dome. Okay. Well that's very unfortunate. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I just wanted to see if he responded to Vegan Teacher. It doesn't look like he has. So the vegan teacher's obviously jumping on the train. This was actually from two days ago. Bro, I don't like this woman because she's terrible and she like justified 9-11 because the people who died were meat eaters, so it was okay. That was her honest argument. Um, but like she is insanely she she fucking gets views. It's crazy. People hate her and she gets so many views. Uh, she just gets views like on a lot of her stuff and like that's crazy because people hate her they watch her videos even though they hate her and she doesn't care and that's a big part of it because look at this 1k to like four three and a half it's fucking crazy well i so I, the only thing i can respect is that she just doesn't give a shit about her criticism so that's all i can say <laughs> i guess i respect that but anyway let's see what she has to say i feel like i'm gonna watch this and i'm gonna get bored so quick because she does the same thing she just always will say look at you eating meat don't eat meat anymore and then she watches a minute of your video and she's done it to me before she has videos about me and then she doesn't give a fuck anymore she watches a minute of your video and then she says you're a bad person for not eating meat and then she tells you to go watch five documentaries that's every video so let's let's see what she has to say Welcome to class, everybody, and especially to you, Nikocado Avocado. Too fast. Nikocado Avocado is somebody that I've heard this name going around, and I didn't really know who he was, and people are always asking me to review his channel. They're saying to me, oh, Miss Katie, go there and blast him and give him heck, um, and yeah, I could I could do that. But what yeah. I see here is really just an individual who is extremely cruel and sick in the head. So how do you help somebody like that? I don't know. I really don't know what to say. I mean, I took a screenshot here. Just, like, stopped I guess she's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> eating some broccoli because that's the image I want you guys to think about. I want you to remember that it's important to eat your cruciferous vegetables every day. Pack them in, put them in your smoothies. Okay. You know, sprout little beans and seeds, and and make sure that you eat healthy. The rest of this stuff is all processed, full of grease, full, full of salt, and it's just not something you should be eating on a regular basis. Now, if I'm talking to you directly, Nikocado Avocado, I think you already know. You're not a stupid man. You know what you're doing is evil. I, I don't know. I feel like maybe he is kind of dumb. No offense, Nikocado, but also kind of offense. I've seen your videos, and you're kind of insane. You were a little, you're a little dumb. I don't know. I know some of it's an act, but this is like who he portrays himself on as YouTube. And like some of it's an act, but a lot of times when I talk about this, it's really not so much of an act as it is code switching. It's like, this is my YouTube personality. It's, it's a big part of their personality and it seeps into your other personalities. All you, you know, all your personalities will, will coexist in some capacity. So like he interacts with YouTube differently than his mom and, you know, boyfriend, etc. But um, it doesn't mean that it's not really him. I, I don't like the argument. It's a, just a character because you're. You, it's not. I mean, like you're eating yourself to death. That's quite an act. That's what is method acting. Yeah. Not only are you paying for the rape, the torture, oh the confinement, God. and the murder of so many animals, you are also putting it on display here and consistently telling people how it tastes so good, and you are making so many other people unhealthy, and you are causing so much harm. I can't even begin to explain how much harm you're causing. I don't know if that's true. Um, you know, I guess there could be, well, there could be some people who watch Nikocado and go, I want to do this and they want to do mukbangs and they eat all this food and then they waste it. That's probably true. But I think most people look at him and just laugh. And I think that's the, the saddest part is most people just watch Nikocado avocado and they just laugh at him. And that's one of the, I guess like, I feel like I would be devastated. Like I would like, how do you fucking hard to have self-respect? You know what I'm saying? So is it even worth it trying to talk to you? Maybe you're listening. Maybe you'll get a hold of this video. And if you are, let me remind you that you can change your t channel around. You absolutely can. All of this stuff that you have done to get to this place right now. What's so interesting is he used to be vegan and his diet was his diet was actually unhealthy for him. Um, and I'm not saying vegan overall is unhealthy. It's hard, but it's hard to manage. You have to take the, the correct you know shit, eat the correct supplements. And he was underweight and he was under eating. And it was actually bad for him. So... Now if you look at your comments and if you look at the way, what people are saying, they're basically saying your channel has become boring and there's not really much going on. I mean, everyone's just sitting around waiting for you to self-destruct. Like, how is this good for you or anyone else? You know, give people something to look at that will be compelling and interesting. Oh, a fully raw vegan? What does a fully raw vegan mean? Is that somebody who doesn't, like, cook their food? Okay. I just think that he has a really... He, it just seems like Nikocado is somebody with a really bad um, relationship to food. He possibly just constantly has just different versions of eating disorders. <clears throat> Change everything around, starting now. Become vegan. 
all that you have done to become this huge person who is just a giant joke, you can start That's to true. slowly, incrementally change things. <laughs> it starts by making the declaration that you want to be vegan, that you want to be a good person. You want your legacy here on this planet to be that you, you went down this <laughs> terrible path, this dark path where you were depressed and cared about making money and at the tons of money. And then you realize that's not really the only thing that's important. You don't care about him, but you wanted the shirt he's wearing? Okay. Now I want you to try to picture this. In one year's time, you could get your weight down. You could be healthy. And you could be an amazing vegan animal defender. Well, you could do the first two without having to do the third. So. Now, how do you do that? You have to vegan teacher called me obese once. <laughs> yeah, that was actually really funny. <laughs> she called me fat. and talked. I think she talked about how I was like eating too much food. And it made it was bad. <laughs> it, was, it was funny, though. It was funny, though. I like how somebody said, why am I agreeing with her on stream? Delayed, probably, when, when it comes to her criticism of Nikocado. But it was, but then I read it as like, oh, yeah, you agree with her on fat. Fuck you, but you're also right. Educate yourself. You have to watch the important documentaries. The first thing you need to do is watch this. Was, was I wrong about what she was going to do with this video? Avocado. It's so fuck, it's very boring. And I want you to take a pen and paper, and I want you to write down all the animals that you see, and I want you to tell me. Send me a private message on my Instagram. It's that vegan teacher, Miss Katie. It's all one word. Or you can make a video if you want. You can mention me in a video if you want. I want you to tell me that you saw this video. And I want you to even put a camera on yourself while you're watching it if you want. That would be great. You don't have to actually show the video, but put the camera on yourself while you're watching it. And I mean, really. Oh. Like, as a, as a real human, not as an actor. Watch it. Put a box of Kleenex beside you and realize what you're doing, Nick. Because in this video, you will see what happens to the animals in the industry. It is horrible. Maybe I should watch that one day. And if you have a heart, after watching that video, you will look at the camera and you'll say to your audience, everybody should watch this video. And everybody should change. And I want to change starting from now on. That's what I want you to do, Nick. Because right now, here is what you're contributing to. You are allowing the animal holocaust to continue by not speaking out against it. By participating oh, uh, you're contributing to. Wait, oh, it's watch. Okay. And I want to change starting from now on. That's what I want you to do, Nick. Because right now, here is what you're contributing to. You Bro, are it's a two-hour-long documentary on YouTube. Holy doo-doo. Are you serious, bro? I don't got. I do have that kind of time, to be honest with you. I'm just lazy. Holocaust to continue by not speaking out against it, by participating in it, and that needs to change. The animals are suffering by the billions right now, Nick. Look at this animal. Billions. It's kind of cute. They are in true agony. His eyes are fucked up. To the Jews in World War II. Pigs are put <laughs> in gas. Jesus Christ. I'm not even surprised she's saying it. It's one of those things where I'm so desensitized. She's constantly talking about like animals, uh, comparing Jewish people to animals and black people to animals and everything and gay people to animals because she's uh, bigoted. But I understand fundamentally that we're abusing animals. I understand that. Like the way that we kill them is pretty fucked up. We, it's not even that we're killing them. I don't even have the problem with killing. It's kind of fucked up though that we're like putting them, they're basically like born and then their whole life is just getting fat and then eat, us eating it. So I get it. I understand. Like, and for me, my best way for me to make uh, to be less abusive to animals is to eat less animals. That doesn't mean not eat animals. I just have to eat less food in general. <laughs> but um, people are really turned off by the comparative language, you know, because we do. Like, honestly, you have to sexually assault a cow to keep them pregnant. You got to keep them pregnant so that you can keep milking them. It's true. I wouldn't compare it to the sexual assault of a person because people are more important than cows during, due, based on my subjective morality because I'm a human and I care more about humans than animals. But it is true. It's, it's inhumane. Um, and like I understand the fundamental message. Uh, I know that it's meant to, to comparing them like Jewish people and animals is meant to really just invoke empathy in animals. It's not supposed to mean diminishing of Jewish people. It's just it's tone deaf when it comes off. Cows aren't evil. That that's something that you have to understand. They, cows are evil. Okay, I don't give a fuck. Okay, cows are pieces of shit. I'm just kidding. But you know what's weird is that you look at this cow's eyes, and my 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 fiance today told me today I have cow eyes. I was like, what the fuck are you saying? She's like, no, no, they have really big, wide, beautiful eyes. And I'm like, dude, that's just weird. You're a weirdo. And then she left, and I can't wait for her to get home. But <laughs> I just felt like bringing that up. Um, Chambers. They are treated horribly from the moment they are born to the moment that they die, and you can help turn this it's around true. and change it. Everything change it by free range. Thing good will happen when you declare that you are vegan. Everything. You will get healthier. Your audience will follow along. They will, if they actually care about you, and I think some of them do. They will be rooting for you. They will be trying the new vegan foods like you do. Go to the store. Start shopping for vegan foods. And if you don't like them, if for some reason you don't like them, don't make a big deal out of it. Just try to find ones that you do like and promote the positive things. The I might try to be vegan for a meal. <laughs> See if it's any good. Do it on. I'll do it on stream. I'll binge eat vegan food. Buy some ve tofu or something. Vegan milks, vegan meat. 
I will say though, I do buy vegan milk. Okay. I've been making small steps. Okay. I, I, I basically, I exclusively, um, will eat, will drink oat milk instead of like regular milk. Um, not oat, I don't, I do oat instead of almond because I think almond milk's bad for the environment. Like it's really bad for their water supply or something. I'm not mukbanging kale. I'll throw up. And fruits and vegetables. Start cooking. You can laugh at yourself if you make mistakes. You know, but go and watch some of the amazing channels and turn yourself into a vegan cooking channel. People will watch it. Oat milk's man. actually really good. If I, I rarely go to Dunkin', but when I go, I get oat milk. And when my fiance goes, she gets almond milk, and I keep telling her, bitch, you better get fucking oat milk. It's bad for the environment. And then she laughs at me, and then she forgets every time. <laughs> we call each other bitch a lot. Like, that's just our thing. She actually got me into calling her that because it's, like, funny. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. People want you to get better. Shut up. It's oat right milk. Now, what you're doing. I don't care you're that it's juice. In the meat industry to rape females by forcing cows and pigs to be pregnant without consent. You follow this up by stealing their babies and eating Jesus them. Jesus Christ. That's harsh, but Nick, it's kind of true. This isn't the kind of person that you want to be. It can't be. Your followers will stay. You're not going to be abandoned by, the, by your audience. They will be rooting for you. Well, yeah, no, he'll probably take a significant drop in, in viewership if he starts mukbanging vegan food. Um, one, because I doubt that he's not getting... There's no way. that He has to be getting paid by all these places that he eats food from. Uh, but then also, people won't find it entertaining. I think part of the entertainment is that he's... It's funny to watch him overeat fast food to the point of, like, death. And I know that sounds horrible. I don't watch it, but that's what people like because they're pieces of shit. We don't, people are real pieces of shit. Like, honestly, I would argue that if you enjoy Nick Okado's content, you're probably a little bit fat phobic. Like, you're enjoying an overweight man eating himself to death. And you're, and you're enjoying it. And it's so interesting because uh, people have this misconception that fat fetishists, not, I'm attracted to overweight women, but fat fetishists, you have this misconception that they think fat women are attractive. But a lot of them hate fat people. And when they, when they feed them, when they overfeed them, they're doing it because they hate fat. They're like, you're disgusting. That's what's going on in their head. Now, there's some that actually enjoy the overweightness, I'm, but there are a lot of them that are just like, you're disgusting. You're fat, and I fucking hate you, and I want you to eat. And that's kind of what people are doing when they engage in this relate in, in this thing with, with Nick Akato. I'm being honest with you, and it's really fucked up. And that's one of the things why I talk so much about likes. Like, you look at this, likes versus dislikes, right? Down here, uh, his likes are like in that video are like 1.8K to 1.4K. You don't know why people are liking your content or disliking it for that matter. You know, you could be like, oh, one, like I have like, a, let's say it's 60% like ratio. I don't give a shit to do the math. It's like, oh, like 60% of the people who watch like this. Why do they like it? Is it because they really enjoy you, Nick Akato, Or is it because they think it's funny that you're eating yourself to death? Or like, do they think that it's just you're gross? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't really know why people like you when it comes to the likes. And it can be like very, it can be a very toxic, positive reinforcement. Right, like you can talk, you can you can have you can positively reinforce somebody in a toxic way. Like you're enforcing a bad behavior of overeating yourself to like a point of like unhealthiness. So you know, it's true. You know, I'm sure he's already a millionaire. So maybe you reduce your content. This is one of the things I think that we need to make more socially acceptable on the internet. I feel like there's a ghost in the house, but it's like whatever. As long as it's not bothering me. I feel like we there's this thing where if somebody starts getting less views, the first thing people like to do is go, you fell, you fell off, you fell off, you fell off, you fell off. And the reason that's so toxic is because from the mental perspective of a content creator, um, it's not just about the money. It's also about like the relationship with likes and views. And that relationship is irrelevant, honestly. It doesn't really matter. Um, but when you do that, like you're basically making those people feel like shit. You're just like, oh, you fell off. You're a loser. And then it makes them feel like they need to get better views and better content uh, because he already has the financial factor. But I feel like there should be, you should be able to shift your content in a direction you like, even if it gets fewer views. Like, let's say Nikocado changed. Let's say Nikocado gets like fucking 30 million views a month. I don't really know. Um, Papa's just made he fell off. Shut the fuck up. I'm actually doing better than I ever had, but anyway. Money wise, at least. I'm <laughs> anyway, let's say he's getting 30 million views and he decides to change his content or he reduces his mukbang content to a week and it reduces his views. And then he makes like a, a different channel and that he does um, like different content. Like he just does like vlog content. And let's say on his, his old channel, he does a mukbang once a week instead of 28, like, you know, all the time. So he's like, let's say he makes, goes from 30 million to 4 million views a month. And then he gets like another 4 million on his new channel. Right, so he's overall getting like a quarter. I I don't know if I'm doing the math right. Maybe twenty five percent of the views. Who cares? That's great. 
and he has fun and he gets to be healthier and have fun. I feel like we need to normalize content creators retiring and making different content in more fun ways rather than shaming the fuck out of them for doing worse because it becomes it creates a very toxic environment. When you start eating more healthy foods and caring about yourself. Right now your audience is stagnant because they just see you self-destructing and it's just it's just pathetic. Don't you want to have your audience be better? <laughs> I think you do. Look, cuz right now here's another thing you're doing. You are paying people in the th- to slit the throats of baby cows because you want to steal their milk to have cheese. This is what you will see in that documentary. I feel like I feel like we I don't think that people have paid to slit the throats of baby boy cows because they want milk for cheese. I think that they just they just want the milk. You don't have to actually slit their throats. Although I get it, you have to impregnate the cow and they have birth. But really more than that, it's like people want veal. That's weird. But it kind of is good. I'm sorry. I don't I I haven't eaten it in I haven't eaten it in a very long time though. Because like it's gross. I I watched South Park and they talked about how veal was just like tortured little torture baby cow. I haven't eaten veal since then. Isn't it interesting that South South Park educated me on that? Very interesting. Sure that you watch it to know what's going on. You cannot keep putting your head in the sand and pretending I think it was South Park. When your head hits the pillow at night, you know what you're doing. You know what kind of a person you are right now, and you know that you can change. Right now in the industry, you're paying people in the dairy industry to touch bulls' private parts and to steal their sperm. That's what they do. Yeah, you can touch my private parts and steal my sperm. No, actually, that's inappropriate. I gotta, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and like, not even jokingly, I made a joke about um, like, uh, like a... That vegan teacher being attractive, and then in her video, she like found it uncomfortable. So I kind of feel bad. So, you know, I'm trying to not, uh, I'm trying to be a little less aggressive in that, or, or even joking in that. I'm trying to be a little more sensitive, even though she's a bad person. This is sexual assault. They force it into females after. True. This is wrong on every level. This is not the kind of society that we want. You can be better. You can be vegan. You absolutely can. But you have to understand that veganism is not about food. It is about the animals. And you have to connect with that first. And that's why you must watch this documentary, Nick. Watch Dominion.com. Okay? Memorize it. You just write this down. You just type it down in, the, uh, in your search engine. And the movie will appear. And then I want you to search seriously engine. concentrate on it. Watch it. Pay attention to every moment in it. Take a pad of paper and, and a pencil and write down every animal that you see. And write down what happens to each animal in the industry. Right now, you are paying people in the egg industry to grind out baby boy chicks at just one day old because they will never be able to lay eggs, and so they are considered to be useless. Damn. That's what you're doing. That is the truth. That's how they make chicken nuggets, I think. Watch the documentary to understand. They put these baby boy chicks on these giant assembly lines, and when they check in to see that they are boys, they go down a separate path, and then they fall down. They fall down, they fall down to knives that cut them and shred them into a million pieces just because they were born as boys. They are innocent. It's true, guys. I mean, if you really think about it, that's sexist. To Nick. All right. Nick, would you be able to take? You know, you got to you got to talk about that for your anti-feminism movement. A little chick, a cute little yellow baby boy chick, and put him in a blender in your kitchen, close the lid, and push the button. I don't think you could do it, but you are. If I ha- I I could do it just to spite you, vegan teacher. I could do it just to, just to prove a point to you that I could fucking kill one day old chickens. I I would do it. I wouldn't do it. I don't think. That's why I pay other people to do it. I know it's happening, and I still engage in it by eating it. I know that's shitty, but that's life. Paying people to do that. All of these items are coated in eggs, and almost everything has eggs in it now. We need a society to change. We need a compassionate society. Chickens are some of the most abused animals on the planet, and they are sentient. They don't deserve it. They have feelings, just like us. They don't want to be harmed. They have a right <sighs> to open their their wings and to see the sky. They shouldn't be in these sheds by the billions, twice as many chickens on this planet as humans, and they are being tortured. And people like you, Nick, are promoting this. I wonder what we would do, though, because I know that, like, cows specifically, um, they have a very positive impact on the environment. In the, I think, in the, well, they fart a lot, which is bad. But then they also, like, eat stuff. They eat, like, they keep the, 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 the land tilled or something. I don't remember. I remember watching, like, a farmer talk about it. I guess we could just, we could just build machinery to, sub, to subsidize that or whatever, supplement cows. You can stop. You really can. And it's okay if you fumble on your journey towards veganism. It's okay if you say, I don't know what I'm doing. If you can say, I don't know how to cook vegan food. You can say, that vegan teacher told me to be vegan, but I don't really know where to start. And then you show yourself on camera, show yourself Googling vegan recipes. Go to the store, buy this stuff. Try cooking stuff, and if it fails, then try another one. All right? You can change this whole thing around. Is animal is animal agriculture the leading harm of environmental damage? Really? I thought we needed cows to, like, eat grass and shit. 
Huh. Interesting. I mean, I'm sure, like I said, we could create technology to deal with whatever aftermath there is. And I also imagine that it would be a slow process where we would eat fewer and fewer cows every day. So. In one year. I one of the leading. Okay. Start now. Their farts are better for the environment. Not if I smell them all up. <laughs> we just have to pay people to smell cow farts. I mean, I'm a fucking genius if you really think about it. You encourage people to pay for cycle of violence because chickens are sentient beings who want to keep oh. their legs. They don't want you to eat them. They don't want them chopped off or eaten by you. Stop encouraging animals. You don't know that. Let me tell you what it's like to be vegan, okay? I want you to picture this. Oh. This is what it's like. Being vegan is like trying to rescue drowning animals. Desperately pulling them out of the water, one by one. Having your friends, family, and everyone around you. Throwing them back in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh, but it's kind of a funny thought. You're the fuck you're jumping in a lake and you're like trying to save like a lamb. I don't know why I think of lambs and they're just like going bah and then you fucking put him on the land and then your dad just takes the fucking thing and throws it back in the water. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's a little bit funny to me. If you saw me running in to save all kinds of animals who were drowning and running into the shore, what would you do? Would you stand beside me and pick them up and throw them back in? Or would you say, Miss Kate, let me help you? Would you try to gather them and soothe them and comfort them? And maybe even go out to the water yourself and try to help me in an assembly line. You know, I go and swim out there and I rescue them and I hand them to you. What kind of a person are yeah, you? Yeah, go in that water and save those fish from, from drowning, vegan teacher. Do that. What do you want your legacy to be here? Join me. Seriously. You can be so much better. I could, I could see this collab working, though. These two are very interesting. I think that they might round themselves out so, in the worst let's way possible. everyone in case they don't know. Plants don't feel pain. They don't have a brain. They don't have a nervous system. So it's okay to bite into them. And you have a heart. You know where to start. Share this song and be vegan from now on. Okay. Very plant phobic, but all right. Nikocado avocado. She's not. She's not gonna watch the video. Somebody's like they haven't touched the video. She's not gonna watch the video. I'm just letting you know. Like if she did, she would watch 30 seconds of it. She just found a clip of him eating a fucking piece of uh, broccoli, and she used that. That's it. To watch Dominion.com. Watch Dominion.com. Everybody who's watching, all of Nikocado Avocado's followers, watch this video. And in the comment section here, I want you to write what you saw. And in his comment section, I want you to encourage him. Blast his comment section with love, telling him he can be vegan from now on. And all of you who are watching who are not yet vegan, who want Nikocado to get healthy, go on the step <sighs> with him. Because so, like, what if we made it so that animals, like cows, were just, were just, like, mentally incapable of feeling pain or anything? Like, you were just born and they were just, like, fucking dumb. What if we did that? What if we made it so that the cows were just like brain dead? You just had to like feed them with a tube into their mouth or something. Would that be okay? I don't know. I kind of feel like a good a, the next step would be like uh, lab meat or something. Grow meat in a lab. But I feel like in general, I don't know, man. I don't know. All I know is I ate a whole chicken yesterday. So, rotisserie style. Speaking with him. All right. Now, I don't know. I have so many of these little signs here around me, but I wanted to show you one that says, how do I go vegan.com? Because that is, uh, yeah, here it is. Okay. This is another site you can go to. How do I go vegan.com? Sing it again. How do I go vegan.com? Sing it, it again. How do I go vegan.com? Sing it again. How do I go vegan.com? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess if you got that stuck in your head and you were singing it all day, like that, it gives me like the 800 588 two, three hundred empire. You know, it gives me that, um, vibe so i might just be sitting there like oh i gotta go be like i might just be singing in my head later and go fuck you know um that's what you could do all right so if you want to contact me you can contact me on my instagram it's that vegan teacher miss katie all one word nikocado avocado i want you to contact me okay i'm gonna i'm gonna be a, a cheerleader for you privately you can message me i will promise not to share your your text just so you know vegan teacher he's gay he's not interested you gotta relax anybody okay i will coach you i will help you i will cheer you on as long as you are serious, as long as you promise to do the homework, which is watch the important documentaries, I'm here with you. If you refuse to watch the documentaries, there's nothing Private I can do. Because veganism is not about food. It's about ending animal exploitation. And what we are working towards here on That Vegan Teacher's channel is having animals have a bill of rights. They need a bill of rights to protect them. And I want you, going forward, to help me. All right? I want you to be a good guy. I want you to be on my side. All right? Good. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and press the like button if you find that you're getting any value here. If you think that this channel uh, is making well, the world a better place by encouraging less I, animal abuse, I don't and think also that remember I will that like veganism is great for the planet. The eco footprint of animal agriculture is gigantic. If you care about the future generations, true, the think. children of this world who are going to grow up in a planet where the rainforests are being bulldozed down to grow crops that feed animals, instead of us eating those plants directly, 
Okay, if you care about having a better planet where we will not have fishless oceans, then you need to be vegan. I'm going to talk to you, Nikikato, about all the other documentaries later. There's also Cowspiracy, Seaspiracy, Forks Over Knives, Earthlings, The Game Changer, so you can know that you will be healthy as a vegan. Uh, anyway, it goes on. But right now, what's your first one that I want you to watch? This one. All right? It's Next two time, hours everybody, long. Everybody, coming up on the screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. I want you to click on those. Be curious. Look around that vegan teacher. What the hell is this? Oh, Mr. Beast. What is this? Addison Ray is making me famous on TikTok? Did you guys see what's going on over on TikTok? Look. It's me. I'm still there. Mm -hmm. And this video has over like 46 million. What is she doing? I'm not watching this, but what is she doing?